Hi, this lecture is about ordering or positioning questions. In these questions, sometimes what we see is that we are given a group of entities and we have to arrange them in a specific order and when we get that order, someone is going to ask us who is the last in the order or who is the first in the order and or what is the order actually or some other question related to that. Now, the order can be of different types. For numbers, you can have ascending or descending order. For those who don't know ascending or descending order, ascending order means from smallest to largest. Arrange the entities from smallest to the largest entity, which means if you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then ascending order is something like this. This is the ascending order. Now, what is the descending order? It's a reverse of ascending order. You arrange first the largest number, then you go on to the smaller ones and then the smallest one. So if the numbers are like this, then your arrangement will be. There are many other arrangements like height wise arrangement, weight wise arrangement. Uh, one important one is alphabetic arrangement. Alphabetical arrangement is from A to Z. Which means if you have, let's say, Abhay, Bhargav, Dinesh and you have to arrange them in alphabetical order then first Abhay then next you'll have Bhargava and then you'll have Dinesh and reverse alphabetical order is just the reverse of the alphabetical order so then you'll be arranging from Z to A now how about the sample question now in this given question, we have to arrange these five people in their increasing height okay, or in their decreasing height, it does not matter. We just have to find out who is the tallest of them all. So let's see, first one says A is taller than M. So why don't we write A greater than M. M is taller than N but not taller than Q, fine. So M is taller than N and Q is taller than M or Q is equal to M. But definitely Q is not smaller than M. Okay. Don't get confused here. What I'm trying to do here is M and Q, it says M is taller than M, but M is not taller than Q. So if I say I am not taller than a person, then it clearly means that I can be equal, I can be of equal height to that person or I can be smaller than that person, but I cannot be taller than that person. So M cannot be taller than that person. M can be equal and M can have an equal height to that person or M can be shorter to Q. Now A is shorter than Q, fine, so we know this. Now we know this, so we can just remove all of this. Since we know the relation between M and Q now, A is shorter than Q, but taller than R. Now, R could be taller than M or shorter to M. R could be taller than R N or shorter than N. So we don't know that, but we know this. And since we know that Q is taller than R, so we know that these two arrangements are possible. We don't know about M and N positioning here. But we definitely know the first two. Q is the tallest, A is the second tallest. So we know the answer. Q is the tallest person. Now sometimes the questions that will come up 
would be something like uh, you'll have to find out the position of a person in a line okay suppose i say that there are 10 people standing in a line and the fifth person from the start okay you have to find out his position from the end what would be his position from the end what would be his number from the end if i say i have five people here let's say person a b let's jumble this up okay z m and n fine now i'll number them beginning from here this is one two three four five so if i say these are the first five people these are the first five ranks in the class okay so now b is the second ranked person from the start but from the end what is his rank his rank is one two three four from the start it's the second from the end it is the fourth so if you're given questions like this either you can solve it mentally or there is an easy way to do it which is the formula says total number of entities is equal to position of entity from the start plus the position of entity from the end minus 1 let's test this we know the total number of entities are 5 this is equal to now we want to find out suppose we want to find out what is B's position from the end ok so B's position from the start is 2 plus position from end go ok plus position from end let's say position from end minus 1 fine position from end plus 2 is equal to 5 plus 1 which says again position from end is equal to 6 minus 2 or 4 which was what we found out 1 2 3 4 so that proves our formula either you can remember this or you can just do it logically for speedy calculation there are two variations of this formula so these are two variations of the formula uh, of the formula you can use these three formulae or you can use your logic like I have been saying and you can solve all ordering or positioning questions like this. Best of luck.